pain is weakness leaving the body. If you want to get the most out of your men, give them the break. Don't make them work completely in the dark. If you do, they won't do a bit more than they have to. But if they comprehend, they'll work like mad. I've always believed that no officer's life, regardless of rank, is of such great value to his country that he should seek safety in the rear. Officers should be forward with their men at the point of impact. Paperwork will ruin any military force. My definition a definition in the drill books from the time that General Juan Steuben wrote the regulations for General George Washington. The definition of the object of military training is success in battle. It wouldn't be any sense to have a military organization on the backs of the American taxpayers with any other definition. What the American people want to do is fight a war without getting hurt. You can't do that anymore than you can get into a barroom fight without getting hurt. Unless the American people are willing to send their sons out to fight an aggressor, there just isn't going to be any United States. In the Confederate Army, an officer was judged by stark courage alone, and this made it possible for the Confederacy to live four years. If we are going to win the next war, in my opinion, 50% of the time of training should be allotted to night training. My definition the definition that I've always believed in, is that esprit de corps means love for one's own military agent, in my case, the United States Marine Corps. It means more than self-preservation, religion, or patriotism. I've also learned that this loyalty to one's corps travels both ways, up and down. In the Marine Corps, your buddy is not only your classmate or fellow officer, but he is also the Marine under your command. If you don't prepare yourself to properly train him, lead him, and support him on the battlefield, then you're going to let him down. That is unforgivable in the Marine Corps. Son. When the Marine Corps wants you to have a wife, you will be issued one. I want to go where the guns are. Where the hell do you put the bayonet? I assure you, Virginia, that I, never in my life, have ever made a statement that I like to fight. In the Confederate Army, an officer was judged by Stark courage alone. You were absolutely correct in making him salute you 100 times, Lieutenant, but you know that an officer must return every salute he receives. Now return them all, and I will keep count. We've been looking for the enemy for some time now. We've finally found him. We're surrounded. That simplified things. The mail service has been excellent out here. And in my opinion, this is all that the Air Force has accompanied during the war. We made generals today on the basis of their ability to write the damned letter. Those kinds of men can't get us ready for war. Our country won't go on forever if we stay soft as we are now. 
There won't be any America because some foreign soldiery will invade us and take our women and breed a hardier race. What American people want to do is fight the war without getting hurt. You can't do that any more than you get into a barroom fight without getting hurt. Retreat. We're just attacking in a different direction. The safest place in Korea was right behind a platoon of Marines. Lord, how they could fight. The Reds told us they were afraid to tangle with the Marines and avoided them when they could be located. Hit hard. Hit fast. Hit often. Don't forget that you're first Marines. Not all the communists in hell can overrun you. Old breed. New breed. There's not a damn bit of difference as long as it's the Marine breed. They are a damn sight better than the U.S. Army. At least we know that they will be there in the morning. Take me to the Brit. I want to see the real Marines. We're surrounded. That simplifies the problem. It wouldn't be any sense to have a military organization on the backs of American taxpayers with any other definition. Fuller during the Korean War, Battle of Chosin Reservoir, while motivating his men. All right, they're on our left, they're on the right, they're in front of us, they're behind us. They can't get away this time. Great. Now we can shoot at those bastards from every direction. There are not enough China men in the world to stop a fully armed Marine regiment from going wherever they want to go. I'll take care of my men first. Frozen troops can't fight. If we run out of ammunition, we'll go to the bayonet. Let them get in close. Don't waste a mo. Get your share. Remember, you don't hurt them if you don't hit them. Those days in the woods saved my life many a time in combat. When an army captain asked him for the direction of the line of retreat, Al Puller called his tank commander, gave them the army position, and ordered, If they start to pull back from that line, even one foot, I want you to open fire on them. Turning to the captain, Chesty Puller replied to that answer your question. We're here to fight. Akoto Ari in Korea.